Hello, folks, and welcome back to the goalie live the life. Be a pro, if you will. And, yeah, I feel like I have to continue the meme wearing the L.A. hat uh, while we're playing as the Edmonton Oilers because of the current playoff matchup. But by the time this video comes out, probably the first round will be over, I'm thinking anyway. So, yeah, but... Whatever, I'm still going to do it. So I'm trying to remember what's going on here because, again, for you guys, you don't notice the difference. But for me, it's been about maybe a week since I've recorded one of these. So I would like to check in on our lines if I remember correctly. Drysidle wasn't doing so hot for some reason. Yeah, he's got 7 points in 20 games at 95 overall. Love to see it. But we got Nuge, McDavid, and Yam playing on the first line. Pool Party, Dry, and Druen, and then Hyman, Dano. Barabanov, Ennis, McLeod, Fogel looking good. On defense, we got Nurse and Bouchard, Hall and Giordano, Graves and Broberg. Who do we have scratched? Doomlin, Barry. Oh, he's hurt. Okay, he'll be back. And in net, we have yours truly, TJ. And then we got Pavel as the backup, who I am officially a higher overall then. Feels good. We have the Toronto Maple Laughs here. And... Is there anything else? Yeah, we have that chance for the new X-Factor, which I believe was Sponge. Let's have a check here. Yeah, we need to get a shutout. Right, okay. So, that's possible. We should be able to get one shutout in this year. At least one. You know, it's got to happen a single time. That's it. We should be able to pull it off, but... Here we go. Toronto Maple Leafs. Edmonton Oilers. Game one of this video. Boom! I'll take that. They only got two shots and we have 18. Wow, that is strange. Second period. All right. All right, let's 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 jump in. Toronto does have several X factors, which is concerning. We definitely have to be on the lookout for that. And hopefully not get scored on. <laughs> That's our main objective right now. Because if I don't, and we end up winning this hockey game, then... That pretty much means I'm getting sponge guaranteed, but it's uh, not going to be an easy third period with these players we're up against. That's for sure. That's what I'm trying to get at here. I didn't see how many shots they had after the second period, though. I know after the first, they had two, which makes zero sense, but okay. And after the second, I kind of forgot to look. So yeah, I really have no idea what our current situation is. But that's all right. I don't need to know. All I need to know is that... We have one period to go, it is nil-nil, and we have an X-Factor on the line. Yeah, it definitely seems like we are not having those crazy trades that happened in my last BA Pro. I don't know if they, like, tuned it down, or if by choosing an NHL team, instead of starting in the CHL or in Europe or whatever, maybe that somehow makes a difference. I have no idea, but it's, like, crazy how the trades have been nothing like they were in my last be a pro experience get out of here johnny t because in my last one it's like none of the big name players were on their team anymore they were all somewhere else and yeah it's like teams just complete it was almost like a fantasy draft you know like there was nobody on the team that they should be it was wild the wild wild west if you will but in this one it seems to be a lot more stable in that sense so yeah, it's pretty interesting. Not sure what caused that. If they changed something in the game with one of the updates or, you know, if um, the fact that I started in the NHL makes a difference. It's a mystery, but it's interesting nonetheless. I also just kicked my PS5 by accident, so I'm very glad that it did not turn off. That would have been devastating. But, um, hmm, does it work like that? Like, if you just tap the power button, would it go into, like, the, what's it called mode? Like, Marner's standing right there, and everyone's just like, Ooh, you know, we'll just let him intimidate our goalie and tower over him. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Kicking the PS5. So, glad it didn't turn off. I'm not sure if you have to, like, hold the power button to turn it off, off kind of thing. And it would just go into sleep mode if you tap it once. No idea. I think the Xbox One worked like that. But I really have not a lot of experience with this new console yet. All right, 2-9, I see you're out there. We got to get you back on track. Dreisaitl, bury one here. Give us the lead. You can do it. I know it. Pool Party gives it up to Matthews right there. That's splendid. Nice try. That will be stopped. Not a great idea there, Yessie. Maybe avoid doing that in the future. 
Just my two cents. So another draw in our zone here. Will we get the W? McDavid is back out. Going up against Matthews. And Matthews takes the dub there. But Muzzin gets wrecked at the point by Yamamoto. Who carries it out. Let's go, Yams. Look at this guy spinning off people like it's nobody's beeswax. Oh, nice try, McDavid. So close. Love to see it. All right. Oh, yeah. McDavid. Oh, what is that? You could have passed it back to Nuge for the one-timer. Oh, well. Oh, well. Putting up some good pressure. Causing them to turn over the puck. These are all good things. And a recipe for a goal to be inbound. Nylander walks in. I will stop that. And I am not passing it out. Because, again, for some reason, these Maple Laughs love crashing the net. And towering over me. And my players like to just stand at the side of the net. And do literally nothing. Appreciate Everything you guys do for me. All right, McDavid with the big clean draw win. <laughs> and wow, that was a big hit. That was huge, actually. Sandine with a point shot. That was through a screen. I'm going to pass it out to you. You're kind of open there. Hall, don't you dare. Oh my, he's throwing. He's giving it to his former team. This is a load of crap right here. I'm calling BS. Robertson behind the net. Oh, <laughs> nice try, sir. It actually was a nice try. Got to hand it to him. They win the draw again. Okay, don't make any extreme movements. That was not my favorite situation of the game so far, but that sure was. What a shot, first of all. That corner didn't even exist, and he still managed to snipe it. Barbashev, get out of here. Let me see a replay of this. Do yeah, look at this. Look at all these moves to all the head fakes and whatnot. And then he just rips it over the block. He takes out the water bottle, too. You've got to be kidding me. Let's go, McDusty. Okay, now I just have to smarten up, lock it down, and we will be getting Sponge next season. <laughs> Pretty much, but that is still not going to be an easy task, as there is still eight minutes to go. And I feel like when computers are down by a goal or two, like, they just play insane for some reason. So, really going to have to be at the top of our game for these final minutes here. Ooh, that was a wired slap shot. In the mitten, though. Okay. So far, so good in this third period. It is looking solid. Solid for your Edmonton Oilers. Another draw in our zone here. Let's go, Leon. Let's go, Leon. Win that thing. Ref took forever to drop that puck. But Leon did win it. Clean. And we have it out of the zone now. Walking in is Pool Party, who gets attacked by Tavares. Okay. I love it. He battles for it back. Has it behind the net. Bounced off the boards to Druen. I want to argue unnecessarily. I think he could have just handed it off to him. But, you know, you do you. Ooh. Came in for another clap on the slot. Passing that out. That was risky business again. Willie. Oh, boy. He just got bowled over. He tried to, like, do the protect the puck thing. The Luke Shen. As, um... My friend and I call it. But... Yeah, he did not succeed as being the Intimidator. Instead, he got Intimidated and he was rocked. Oh yeah, I love it. Look at Nuge go, man. He's everywhere right now. Guy is a hard-working hockey player. Things that you absolutely love to see. Marner in the middle. Oh no! That hit the post. Oh my days, that hit the post. The puck has met Irene and I am going to be... Giving that post a big old hug later. Fire me vertical. I thought Nuge was going to give it up in the slot right there when he had all the time in the world to get it out. Would have been fuming. Rebound! Ah, oh, just bounced too far. Down low to Nuge. In the slot to McDavid. He could have picked the same corner, but doesn't matter because the rebound came out to Kyler Yamamoto. And he buries it. We now have the insurance marker. It is a 2-0 hockey game. Looking good, boys. Looking good. No. No. How could you do this to me? McDavid just gave it up in the corner and almost let John Tavares walk out like it was no one's business. Ooh, was he hurt? No, never mind. But we do have a power play. Let's go. This is this is optimal. This is prime. If we can pull this off, I definitely just made the mic peak. I almost guarantee it or pop, whatever it is. Okay, they're gonna dump. They're not gonna dump it down. I forgot when they are down by like a couple goals and they have. Are you serious? 
That is so disrespectful. I think he just shot it in the perfect spot that my blocker was a little bit too hot. Oh, <laughs> are you kidding me? Bro, what a joke. Well, not getting the sponge from this game, I suppose. That is lame. Well, hopefully they don't tie the game up shorthanded, right? Let's not do that. What are we doing? What's going on out here? What an absolute nightmare of a power play for the Edmonton Oilers. We better get one on this power play and not let it go to overtime or I'm going to be fuming. I mean, to be fair, I should have had that one shot. That one is on me. The second one, partially, maybe on me, challenged a shot too much. No, there's no way they get three shorthanded goals. No shot. I will delete this game from my life if that happens. Oh, we are going to overtime though, aren't we? 100%. Is it going to make it to me? Will I get at least some team play? Yes, I shall. Well, that sucks. What a bad way to end that game after an otherwise pretty darn solid performance, if I do say so myself. They have 23 shots. It could have been a 23 save shutty. But no. Of course not. Now we're here in overtime with not very long on this power play. I think it's going to be... Oh, 30 seconds. More than I thought. Nice pass. Drew N. Oh, what a save. Here comes Erasmus. He's in on the wing. If that went in. If that went in. And now Pool Party's trying to score on me. This game is rigged. What is happening? I really want Drysaddle to score. That works too. Or Matthews can just rip one on me. Wow, what a brutal game. What an absolute meltdown that just occurred in front of all of our eyes. That is disgusting. Let's take a Talk to me, the James. What went down tonight on the ice. The Maple yeah. were in a dog fight on the road against the Oilers. Mm. Toronto put in a strong effort. They needed extra time and they still get the overtime win. I guess at least we the got Devils a point out of it, but still, man. Against the Capitals. Washington torn <clears throat> up on the ice. It almost seemed like everybody got in on the scoring in the win. The Blue Shirts faced off with the Jets. The New York Rangers took it to the net in this one, and they pick up the win. Don't even mm. think about touching that dial or touching Ooh. that button. We've got plenty more on the ice. And that's yes, next. please. All right. That sucked big time. We have the Buffalo Sabres here who are 8-11-2. How about no? How about we don't check around the league, James? Uh, this one could be worth jumping into. Let's just sim it. Oh, all right. 5-3, the... 900 save percentage is taking a dent. Three goals from Pool Party and four points from Drysidle. Love that. Great job, guys. We need that line to be pumping out some more offense. What do you want, McDusty? What's going on? Mm-hmm. Yep. No, you're right. 100%. Okay, so we're in New York. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go to the world-famous art museum. Nothing I would love to do more than that for sure. 100%. We're not in against Seattle here. Hopefully we take home a, a W. We did, by the looks of it. We're not in for this game either. We took an L. And now we have the Golden Knights. We're not in for this one either. And we took a dub, I believe. Are we in for Columbus? Yes, we are. They are 14-9-1. I've only simmed one game so far. I need to do four. So three more sim games, but... Uh, hmm... Only 15 shots. Like, come on, man. I'm just simming it. Oh! Great stuff. Great third period. Three stars. There you go. Hattrick line A only getting two. Ha <laughs> ha. And McDavid with three apples. Barabon up down there as well. So that's solid. That's two games simmed now. And skip that segment. Florida Panthers. First period. Boom. Ooh. Okay. Second period. I'm, I'm not playing this one either. Third period. Oh, we almost came back. But, yeah, not quite. There you go. Bobrovsky with a 952. We are continuously getting below a 900 save percentage, which I'm sure is not good for our stats. But somehow we're still at a 915. Okay. Got the Islanders here who are not doing so hot. Let's be honest. Boom. Okay. That's, yeah, it's pretty solid. Other than the fact that they have five shots. Why are people not getting shots but scoring? And why is it Matt Martin? Why is he scoring on me? And 
Why are we just allowing that to happen? Anyway, second. Okay, they still only have 11 shots. This game isn't really worth jumping into. 6-3. 21 shots. Yeah. I don't know what the absolute heck is going on here. But I don't like it. Alright, continue. That was three games simulated now. Let's play... No, not Let's this one. James Zip it. I'm, I'm not in the mood today, okay? Maybe after this game. But right now, no. They have three shots! What is going on? What is going on? This is starting to piss me off. Here we go. Second period. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, this is our last sim game. I'm just going to sim the whole thing. There you go. 3-2. Victory. Next game, we got to play it. Thank you, TJ. Third star of the game. Finally doing something decent out there on that ice surface. Okay. We're not in against Arizona. Sim that one. We win. We win. We just win. That's what we do. And now we have the Ducks, who are 15, 9, and 3. Let's go. Uh, first period. Nice. Second period. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's jump in. Their only abilities come from Mason McTavish and their goalie. So, I like that one. Someone's actually asking me to wear one of the older jerseys. I can't really remember which one it was. But I think it was, like, old, old. Like, I think it was this one. Yeah, so let's try this one on for size. Let's see what... These guys have the Mighty Ducks jersey still, because if so, you are wearing that tonight. Oh, those jerseys. Those just remind me of Timu Solani. Uh, okay, well, maybe it's these ones. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, there we go. What a thing of beauty those are. I'm also just noticing we are now 85 overall. So we've gone up one more in this episode. Great news. That is awesome. Too bad we don't play like it. <laughs> but... Let's see what we can do here. Third period, we have a one to nothing lead. Heading into the final 20 minutes here. And I, oh. Trevor has been rocked trying to come across the blue line. I'm sure that did not go as he planned it. And they don't even have Gibson in net. So they have a grand total of two abilities on the ice tonight. And they both belong to one player. Unless Gibson was in and got hurt or something, but... I kind of don't think so. You know what these jerseys remind me of? Ryan Smith. I don't know why, but that is just the first thing that comes to mind. Okay, we are taking a penalty, which is not fun, because then we're going to have to kill said penalty. And, I mean, hopefully our PK is better than our power play. Doesn't matter, because we are not going to have to kill that penalty anymore. But we are tied 1-1. Whose fault would that be? I'm just trying to think here. Like, did I come out and challenge the shot too much? Should I have, you know, been ready for that backdoor pass? Or should someone have maybe been covering that guy that was just sitting backdoor wide open? I don't know. But um, if you have an opinion, let me know because I'm curious. Speaking of Ryan Smith, who's wearing number 94? Is it that Barabanov lad? It might be. All right, Lundestrom is in, and he's going to get it poked off of him in the corner. They are battling now. He's going to walk out. That will be stopped. I'm just, can I smother it? No, of course I can't. <laughs> of course I can't. Why would I be able to smother it? Yeah, for the record, I did try to pass it out. I've basically given up on today, in case you couldn't tell. Oh, yeah? Clutch save to keep the game at 1-1 here as they tried to pass it down into the slot. And get a one-timer. But TJ was up to the task there. Oh, that's a big hit. Speaking of which, I haven't scrapped in a while. I'm going to do it. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, don't, don't scrap. Don't scrap. Never mind. We're going. We are absolutely going. Yeah, this is a thing. Boom. Fighting Jake Allen. Throw a punch. You won't. Well, he did throw a punch. Okay, there we go. I connected with mine. Kind of blocked that. Oh, he connected big there. Oh, no. He is getting me good. We're about even here coming into the hug sequence. Okay. Couple dodges. Oh, Alan, you are dunions, my friend. You have just completed the fight for me. Thank you. It was fun scrapping you. The helmet, the equipment still goes flying. Love to see it. That ref came in and tried to separate us after the fight. It was already done, I think. Not too sure what happened there, but... Anyway, thanks for coming out, Alan, but you're done, bud. 
Trevor, he's in. Ooh, I guess it poked off of him and almost manages to push the defenseman away and pick it back up. But it didn't work out. Nice pass. Oh, the rebound. No! That could have got us the lead. But yeah, we're 4-on-4 four four right now for the next buck 26. And hopefully we get a goal here. That would be splendid. What a shot. Are you serious right now? And I'm glitching through them. In incredible. You, things you just love to see. Okay, I need to see the replay of this again. Oh my goodness, it is not a good day for me. Was I in position? I would say I was in position, yeah. I was in position, like, and he just absolutely ripped that. Awesome. Well, uh, today's games that I played are forgettable, but, you know, the Oilers are doing well, so we're still succeeding as a squadron, which is great. And looking as though we have another playoff run incoming. So I'm very excited for that. But in the meantime, and in between time, I got to try and figure it out here. Because I feel like I'm playing solid, honestly. But it's just, they're sniping me. Or they're getting goals that I feel like they shouldn't be getting. That could have been a save there on Zegris, in my opinion. The last game against the Leafs that I was in. Easily, that one should have been a blocker save, but of course he does it a little too dramatically and ends up going off the blocker and in. And then I wasn't ready for the backdoor pass. Holy crap, why'd he slide so far back there? That is not even who I was trying to pass that to whatsoever, but there goes my team play down the drain. Nino, he's in. Yeah, there you go. See, I have to kind of cut off the shot, like at least a decent amount, so they can't just rip one past me, but... At the same time, then, if the defense aren't watching whoever's on the back doorstep ready to just tap it in, then it's going to be a guaranteed goal. So, I don't know. It's tricky. It's a difficult situation. I can't believe that didn't go in. It was screened and everything. I don't even think Allen saw it. And he just missed the net. Brutal. Sam Steele gets it up to Nino, who's in, to our half of the ice and just skates into the boards. Incredible stuff. Mind-blowing, really. Barabanov goes to the back doorstep and Ratcliffe. Don't remember seeing him in the lineup, but anyway, I guess he's in now. Is gonna tuck it home. Let's go, Isaac. Yeah, he walks out, has the free pass. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It is a tied hockey game once again. Hopefully we can get the lead here. I don't want to go to overtime again. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna put it out there. Not really feeling it. So if we could get another one before the next 5.30, I would be extremely happy. Let's go, Deno. Ooh, that works, though. It works. Oh, uh, why would he see their goalie's positioning was brutal there. He came out so far, though. Like, he really challenged that shot. And, of course, we didn't pass to the back doorstep. I mean, we just got a goal like that two seconds ago, so I shouldn't really be saying anything, but... Yeah, it's like you don't really know what to do because you have to challenge the shot so that you cut off some of the angle. Obviously not too extremely. But if you do that and our defense, for some reason, love to leave the pass open, then I'm screwed both ways. It's like damned if I do, damned if I don't kind of thing, you know? So, ah, oh, whatever. Let's just try to tough it out here. Hopefully we can get a goal in the next two minutes and chalk up another W. But I guess if we go to overtime... We still get a point, which is nice. I'd prefer to get two. Wow, that was scary. I thought they were going to do it again. The same thing that happened last game. Was it Barbashev, I think his name was, or something? That did me dirty with that shot on the blocker? I'm just scarred now. I feel like it's going to happen every single time. That's what should have happened in the Leaf game, but no. It's got to bounce off the blocker and go in, obviously. Maxime gets it to Zegris, who tries to snipe on me again, but that time, I had his number. Right in the oven mitt. It goes. I mean, I had to put the oven mitt on, too, because it was hot. Julson gets it up to Silverberg. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's in over the line. Oh, nice job, Yamamoto. Look at that back check from the kid. Great effort. And now he has it at the center circle. And that looked like 46 kind of aimed for the head there, not going to lie. We are going to another overtime here. 
Oh, how many shots do they have? Oh, wow, they have 36. Okay, so we're we're all right no matter what happens here. Our stats are, are golden, but I would still prefer a win. If we lose, we do get a point out of it. So I kind of see this as sort of a win-win, you know? Like, goalie stats are going to be good. We're getting at least a point out of it, guaranteed. That's not where I passed that. Yeah, my team play is down the drain, and on top of that, I almost just made us... I did just make us lose. Incredible. If only my pass went where I actually aimed it and didn't go out that way, but came back this way where there was a defense wide open. I don't understand. All right, James, let's hear it. I mean, we did take an L, but it was overtime again, so we got a point out of it. Why that happened twice today? That's like never been happening where my passes aren't going where I'm trying to put them. I, I don't know. Jackets took to the road to match up with the stars. Dallas mm. tore it up offensively and they easily Good for you, Dallas. How are we a rebel, dude? I haven't done anything to be a rebel. Steal two against the Avalanche. Pittsburgh yeah. pounded their opponents into submission with a huge offensive effort. I wonder what that means. Like, what was the score? But we've got a lot more to get to. Stay with us. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Big upfront investment. Oh, I see. What is this? I want to raise it a bit. Ask him if he's willing to accept a bigger investment from me. Yeah, here we go. What do you mean? How's that even a persuasion fail regardless? Agent follow-up? Oh, I chose the wrong one. That's lame. Anything with like a follow-up is a no-go, which is why I try to avoid promises. I want to avoid those cutscenes as much as possible. So... I think we're done for today. I'm pretty sure that I simmed the four games that I would sim. Or do I sim six? I'm going to sim five anyway. We got the Colorado Avalanche here. First period. Okay. Well, 15 shots. Finally. Second period. Ooh. Getting interesting. Spicy, if you will. Second period. Third period. It's a good game. That's a good game. Three stars. There you have it. TJ... Star number two. It looks like that second line is really picking it up as well, which is splendid to see. What's going on, McDusty? Where are we today? What attraction will we be seeing? Yeah, sure. Go carb up, you say. Um, neutral. Let's get some endurance. Boom. Yeah. Not that that really does much for me, I don't think. Okay, well... We'll look at the stats. I am curious to see how much better that second line is doing. We have LA again here. Are we in for it? Okay. The follow-up is now. Did they accept or did they say nah? Oh. He's not willing to give you a higher share. Is the original deal or nothing? What will it be? No, stop with the agent follow-up. All right. Yeah, let's do it. Seal that deal, my dude. Boom. Lots of red there, but it's okay. Stats central. Here we go. So we are 19, 10, and 3, which is good enough for first in the division. We do have two games at hand on the Ducks here, though, and only two points up. So, yeah, we don't have that position on lock by any means, but at least we are up there. In the entire league, Dallas is currently leading 43 points. They are 27 and 3. Not 27 and 3. You know what I mean. Um... Wow, we're third in the league right now. Holy crap. Okay. That is sick. I will take that all day, every day. Beautiful. Let's go Oilers. McDavid has 28 points in 30 games. Drysaddle now has 21 in 32. We got 20 from Nuge. Hyman with 19. Yams, 18. I'll just kind of go through the whole team here. Show you what's going on. Ratcliffe. Look at this guy go. 5 and 9. Legend. And Doolin's played a game. Broberg has 2 and 10. Uh, goalies, we have... A big improvement from Fransuz. Yeah, good stuff. He is 4 5 and 0, 9 16, and a 261. And then we are 14 4 and 3 with a 9 15, 228. Pretty solid. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Well, I'm glad I didn't ask for a trade when <laughs> we were in the preseason. I'm like, what is this team? Yeah, that was uh, just a classic me move right there. But anyway. I didn't ask for the trade. We're still here and we are doing all right. We're now 85 overall. Things are looking good. And I will see you in the next video where we continue to plow through this season.